Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to show you my top 5 fragrances for the summertime. I know it's a little bit late, but I was thinking that uh, from now on everyone is going on holiday, so you still have time to purchase these perfumes and to enjoy them. So, before we start, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I have 5 perfumes here. It was very hard and i mean very hard because if you're subscribed to my channel you already know that this past two months i got so many summer perfumes and i like most of them but i at first i wanted to do this top top 10 but then i realized no nobody needs 10 perfumes for the summer time five is just enough but of course we have an honorable mention that just couldn't miss from this top so Let's start with the uh, honorable mention. We have from Gerla, from the Aqua Allegoria line, Tizura. This is not in the top just because the lasting power. It's not that terrible. It lasted on my skin around four hours, but still it's not the best. Um, if you don't mind reapplying it, that's perfect. But if you're someone that just sprays perfume in the morning and then leaves the house then this maybe is not for you it's absolutely stunning it smells like it has green tea chamomile and jasmine also has some citrus in it it's it's so refreshing it's sweet it has that tea vibe uh also has that citrus in it it's absolutely stunning for the summer this is perfect i wore this one i think three days in a row and it was just so refreshing like I love the fact that I can spray this the entire day. I know it's not the best for my pocket because I'm gonna run, this is 125 ml, but I think if I would spray this every single day in one month, it's gonna be done. But yeah, besides the lasting power, the scent is absolutely amazing. I've never tried anything from the Aqua Allegoria line, so this is the only one that I have, but this is just stunning. So yeah, Aqua Allegoria by Gerla, the Tizura by Aqua Allegoria. Next, number five. Number five, we have Roberto Cavalli, Gemma di Paradiso. I love this one. When I first got it, I wasn't that in love with it, with it but now I just love it. This, I said before, I wasn't getting that much vanilla. Now I'm getting the vanilla. Like, this one definitely has vanilla. It has like this sweet citrus in it with some pear vanilla and amber it's it's absolutely amazing i think it has jasmine i don't really pick the jasmine in it but this is this is gorgeous i saw on paulina's channel she said that this one in the dry down reminds her of um good girl by carolina herrera i have to say yeah that's right especially this one reminds me in the dry down of good girl leisure the the flanker of the original one but the opening is absolutely amazing it's it's sweet it's sweet it's soft it's creamy vanilla with some citrus and fruity notes in it it's absolutely stunning last on the skin a very long time sillage is great it's not a beast mode but the sillage is great love the packaging love everything about this perfume so yeah Gemma di Paradiso by Roberto Cavalli number four we have Angel de Mont Le Secret by Givenchy. This, this smells exactly like cranberry iced tea. It's super sweet, but in the same time, super refreshing. Same as this one. You can spray this the entire day, um, but this one actually lasts. So you can overspray it. It's not going to be too much, but you don't need it just because this one, this one actually lasts. This is it, it's just something about this. It's so unique because I've never had a perfume that smells like cranberry, especially cranberry iced tea. And it's sweet, but it's fruity, but it's refreshing, a little bit green. It's just amazing. You definitely need to check this one out. Lasting Power, it's amazing. Siage, it's great. Yeah, love this one. Number four, Angel de Mont Le Secret by Givenchy. Third place. Third place we have uh, La Nuit Reza Nude 
by Lancome. This is new to my collection. When I first got this perfume, I said that the sillage is not really there. But now, because I wore this one quite a lot, as you can see, I have to say, it's not as bismuth as the original, but the sillage is good. Like, people were able to smell me. This is a soft, creamy, sweet coconut. And then in the dry down, um, it reminds me of the original of La Nuit Rezo. It has that DNA, but with added coconut. But the opening, it's again, it's just amazing. I still have the other perfumes here. Let's play this one. Yeah, it's just... It's absolutely stunning. It smells like coconut, like not coconut water, just coconut. It's sweet and creamy and mm, it's amazing. This one, I oversprayed, like I do with all of my perfumes. The last thing power, it's okay. Uh, the sea, it's okay. It's not bad. I, when I got this one, I thought it's bad, but it's actually like good. It's decent. But even though you overspray it, even though it's like super sweet, um, it's, it's not too much. Same as this one. You, you can overspray this one. But it, this one is more like sexy. Because it has that Planet Reza like vibe. That DNA. That sexiness. But still it's more, it's more appropriate for the summer. Uh, necess necessary for the beach. I would say. More for the town. I don't know. Yeah. Going out to have uh, your breakfast. Your brunch. Uh, I don't know. Things like that. But not necessary for for the beach. So yeah, La Nuit Trezor Nude by Lancome. Second spot, we have Dolce & Cabana Light Blue Escape to Panarea. I already said I absolutely love this one. It's so good. It smells like very creamy vanilla, but not too sweet vanilla with some floral notes in it. It's like, I said that, you are wearing a vanilla perfume, but not too sweet. And there are some flowers behind you. And the wind is the wind that brings the smell of the flowers. It's just the mix is absolutely beautiful. I don't see the original light blue DNA in this one. Um, I think for the lasting power, it's, I tested before just the original light blue. I didn't like that one. It was too citrusy for me and it didn't last. This one lasts better. And the sillage is pretty good. This one is discontinued, but if that sounds like something that you might like, maybe you want to check this one out. It's so feminine, it's so elegant. I picture someone wearing a dress, maybe I know, a white summery dress and walking on a street of, on, from Italy uh, w during the summer wearing this perfume. It's just, it's gorgeous. It's so feminine, it's so elegant, not too sweet, not too citrusy, not too not to floral, it's just the perfect blend. Love this one. Light blue, uh, Escape to Panarea by Dolce & Cabana. And the last one. And of course, my favorite one. Number one. As you might already guessed, Dolce & Cabana Light Blue Intense. I absolutely love this perfume. This is, this is bomb. Like for a citrus perfume, this is just, it, it has citrus in it, of course, but it has also some apple, so that gives it some something sweet. Um, in, the dry down, in the dry down, it's a little bit musky, lasts on the skin forever, and I mean forever. This one lasts on my skin 10 hours. Sillage is amazing. I mean, for citrus perfume, that is just wow, because usually they don't last. But this one is just amazing. Uh, it's not too expensive i think you definitely need to check this one out if you don't like light blue the original check this one out this one in my opinion is way better for me from all of the citrus perfumes that i have this one is the best the smell the sillage the longevity everything about this is just amazing so yeah number one light blue intense by dolce and cabana and that was it for today stay tuned for the second part Second part is going to be summer perfumes for the nighttime. Again, top five. So probably I'll post that video tomorrow. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.